Hello and welcome to our Firebird Database Admin Training, covering the topics presented at IB Experts Firebird School, held by Holger Klemt and Jason Chapman as part of the International Firebird Conference 2007. We'll continue in this tutorial by looking at the Firebird server versions and their differences. So, which Firebird server versions are available? Currently, there is the Embedded Server, the Super Server, and the Classic Server. The Embedded Server in Firebird 2.5 is now based on the Super Classic architecture and includes all SMP advantages. There is no longer an exclusive lock on the database file, which opens up the potential fields of application. A mixture of multiple embedded processes and regular Classic and Super Classic servers is possible, by which the same database file can be accessed in both read and write mode. The necessary synchronization occurs via a global lock table that can be found for example in Windows, under C, Documents and Settings, All Users, Application Data, Firebird. Super Server cannot be used in this multi-connect context because it requires an exclusive lock on the database file. Thread safe means that an independent database connection per thread is no longer required, but one connection handle can be used by several threads. The connection level synchronization routines necessary for this can be found in the embedded server or in the client libraries. That is, the client libraries GDS32 DLL, FB Client DLL, etc. are now all thread safe. However, a thread synchronization is necessary in the client application in order to avoid unwanted side effects. For example, when a transaction handle is collectively used by multiple threads. One independent connection and transaction per thread will avoid any unwanted side effects. Furthermore, the Super Classic SMP ability can only be fully utilized in Embedded with a separate connection per thread. Before Fiber 2.5, the Embedded Server was based on the Super Server architecture and allows only one local process per database, which of course means that it is unsuitable for a web server. The Fiber 2.1 Embedded Server version provides a useful enhancement. The client library is embedded in the server. This combination performing the work of both client and server for a single attached application. Only a few files are required without installation. It mainly consists of a slightly larger FB client DLL, which is capable of providing the database server service to all installations. It is not necessary to install or start anything. This is particularly advantageous, for example, in the following situation. You have an accounting application in an old 1997 version that you need to start today to view old data that was created and processed using this old version. Normally, you would have to search for the old version, install it, and if for whatever reason it doesn't work anymore, or maybe you never managed to find it in the first place, you can't get to your data. Solution. Pack your accounting application onto a DVD together with the correct Firebird embedded version. You can then start the application directly from the DVD without having to search and install anything. So this is particularly useful when archiving data. Firebird is, by the way, one of the few database systems that can read a database on a read-only medium. Super Server. The Super Server is, in principle, this program here, FB Server Exa. The Classic Server is this program, FB Init Server Exa. Depending upon which one you have installed, either the Super Server or the Classic Server is started. The Firebird Super Server has one process and multiple threads, but no SMP, Symmetric Multiprocessing, that is a dual core machine. It serves many clients at the same time using threads instead of separate server processes for each client. Multiple threads share access to a single server process, improving database integrity because only one server process has write access to the database. The main advantage is, however, that all connected users share the database cache. If a database page has already been loaded for one user, and the second user needs to access data on the same page, it doesn't need to be reloaded a second time into the cache. Super Server's shared page cache, properly configured, can be beneficial for performance where many users are working concurrently. 
On the other hand, Super Service for Windows does not play nice with multiple CPUs on most systems and has to be set for affinity with just one CPU, as requests are serialized per database internally by the engine. However, using Super Server with simultaneous connections to several databases can be distributed across multiple CPUs. The Fibre Classic Server offers multiple processes per connection and SMP, Symmetric Multiprocessing, support. Each connection uses one process. It supports multiprocessor systems, but no shared cache. That is, each user connecting and requesting data will have his or her data pages loaded into the cache, regardless of whether other users' requests have already caused the server to load these pages, which of course leads to a higher RAM necessity. However, as RAM and cache requirements are relevant to the size of the database file and the drive on which it is stored, the effects of this cache connection architecture doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. For example, each user that connects to the server and wants to access the stock list loads the stock list information into his cache. If you have 100 users all wanting to access the same information and it is loaded 100 times into the cache, this classic server in the current version 2.03 is actually a very good version. If you have enough memory, use the classic server and set the cache pro user at a lower level. Classic can also be a good choice if the host server has multiple CPUs and plenty of RAM. Should you have sufficient working memory, we recommend you use the Classic server and set your cache, as we've already said, at a somewhat lower level. Firebird 3 intends to offer the best of both worlds. It is intending to have a single architecture and a single set of executables supporting all current architectures. In particular, two basic molds would be exclusive database access and shared database access. It will offer a super server that offers SMP, symmetrical multiprocessing support. That means it will offer a shared cache but will be able to use multiple CPUs. So, that was our introduction to the Firebird server versions and their differences. A transcript of this tutorial can be downloaded by all IB Expert registered full version holders from the customer download area at www.ibexpert.com. All topics presented here are also documented in detail on our website. We'll continue now with part 4 of this administration tutorial by taking a look at aliases, files and paths. Goodbye for now and thank you from all of us at IB Expert.